Hello everyone and welcome and today I'm going to show you this video and explain why although it looks perfectly fine to the eyes it's mostly fake and not real and really in fact it's very good uh, CGI if I can say so I think many of you must have seen this video where something like spacecrafts are orbiting around the moon and you can see the shadow of these crafts and then they disappear in the shadow of the moon so um, you see this crater here I'll be using it for the analysis <coughs> here is a more zoom segment of the video you see the craft pop up from behind the horizon all right and then you see a shadow and it's moving like that so why does it or why do i say that it's not possible and this is not real all right so there's two reasons in fact uh, the orbit path and the altitude plus the velocity so we'll talk about the orbit first thing so what i did here is i took four four still images from this video I put a dot on a certain point of that crater and then matched the four still images uh, on top of each other. And then I I got here from these four images uh, four four locations where the craft were was moving. And you see it's kind of moving like a going up and then moving straight line as if it was following a latitude. Line. Now this is really bizarre because when you are moving uh, on an orbit, you don't you don't follow this path. If your if your orbit starts here, then you end up here in this area. And if your orbit is going, you, you can look at a, uh, a craft orbiting the moon or something, and it can go up from here and end up here, but it will not take that straight path. If it shows from here, go up, it go down, and then complete its circle behind the moon, and then shows up here again. But the path shows that it's going parallel to the longitude lines. Now this is impossible. I don't care if you are the devil himself, because uh, to go to any place on a planet, if you're not on land, then you have to take a great circle, something like this. <clears throat> you start from here, this is the starting point, you end up here because you're orbiting around the center of mass of the planet. But that's not everything. Uh, also, the shortest way from any point to another point on a sphere is the great circle. So, whoever put this path of these graphs, he didn't pay attention to these small details. <clears throat> now the second thing is the velocity and to get that first thing I needed to to make a measurement for this crater that I showed earlier and it was 22 pixels crater for the moon itself the the, the diameter was 695 pixels and what I do with with that, I moved into the more zoomed segment. I measured the pixels, it was 91 pixels, and the maximum altitude above the horizon for the crap, as you see here, was 13 pixels. Now, with a little bit of easy math, this comes to be 18 kilometers. So, we have a craft that pops up from behind the horizon and it takes less than two seconds to to reach that altitude so we need a curvature calculator that uses the moon radius so the moon radius is 1730 and 37 kilometers this is our line of sight we see the spacecraft pop up from here and it reached this point in two seconds it's less than two seconds i just wanted to make sure that uh, it reached its maximum height so uh curve, cal uh curve calculator would say that this distance here this segment of the blue line is 250 kilometers 
so the craft moved from here to here uh, in two seconds this means that it covered the distance uh, or the velocity would be 125 kilometers and this is the length of this blue section not the arc but really it doesn't matter the arc would be a little bit more so someone will say uh, 125 kilometer per second this is okay because they are alien they can do everything or they can do anything but the problem with that is 125 kilometers if you want to stick to the moon or to stick to an orbit around the moon with that speed you would be using your engines in the opposite direction to the moon uh, with a force or with acceleration of 917 g's so even if they can withstand that amount of power uh, and even if they have the engines for that amount of power they would be stupid to use that these engines that way so it's impossible by any standards and as i said even if the devil himself want to move from place to place on a planet he should use the uh, the great circle and uh, not that speed because yeah it's really stupid to produce 917 G's and those are earth G's not the moon G's so uh, I think uh, that's all I have to say and uh, thank you all for watching